for our new aquarium maintenance. And you come in once a day, come into here, grab this little guy, grab a pouch of brine shrimp, and we're just going to uh, prep them. We're just going to come up here. Uh, now, this is uh, each of these pellets is a bit much for these guys. So you can just come and knock off about, oh, I'd say about half of this, or even maybe a third, something like that. This is, this is going to be plenty. Um, you could probably even do less. But we'll start out with just a small amount. Let this guy uh, thaw for about 15 minutes or so. Now he's all nice and melted, ready to go in. Notice there's a lot of um, uh, liquid on here. We don't need that. That the fish aren't going to be able to eat that. This is going to cause more nutrient issues. So just pour, you know, titrate that guy off a little bit, and we're good to go. We'll just take this guy over here and dump it into the top. Uh, we're going to dump it away from as much as we can away from the mouth, uh, away from the intake. And let those guys go. And there we go. Good time to eat. The thing you want to check is make sure that water is um, about at the uh, outfall, overflow. Uh, so if we look in the back here, we'll see that the water here is about, oh, a centimeter or so high, which is good. If it gets too low, if it gets below this level, that's, that's problematic, in which case you want to add some deionized water. And you want to be roughly halfway up the slits here on the our DA water by just flipping this valve to the up position like there, flows down, goes in our DI bucket, and that's where we get our deionized water to match the evaporation that's happening uh, daily from within our tank.